Hey, uh, it's Luke again from Technocamps with another programming challenge, um, and today we're going to be looking at Roulette. Um, so Roulette is a game uh, played in casinos where this big wheel is spun and then a ball is released. Um, as the wheel starts to slow down, the ball will slowly fall into a pocket, um, one of the pockets of the wheels. Um, these pockets are numbered 1 to 36, um, and they are also some of the pockets are red and some of the pockets are black. Before the wheel is spun, you can place bets on where the ball will land. Um, bets include red, black, even, odds, uh, specific spaces. Um, there are more bets, but those are the ones we're going to focus on today. Um, and then the amount you win from your bet is based on how likely uh, what you bet on will happen. So, for example, if the numbers are 1 to 36, then half of the numbers are even and half of the numbers are odd. So they have a 50-50 chance of landing on an even and a 50-50 chance of landing on an odd. Um, so if you bet on odd or even um, and you win, you keep the money you bet and you get paid the amount you bet by the casino. If you lose, you lose the money you bet. Um, if you were to bet on a single pocket, there's a 1 in 36 chance of that happening um, because there are 36 pockets. Um, so if you win, you keep the money you bet and the casino pays you 35 times the amount you bet. Um, but if you lose, obviously you just lose the amount you bet. So task one is to write a quick Python program which simulates this roulette wheel. So your program should allow the user to bet an amount on either odds, evens, or an individual pocket. Um, it should then spin the wheel, uh, i.e. choose a random number between 1 and 36, and then tell the user if they have won or if they've lost, and if they've won, how much they've won. Um, now, the way I would suggest choosing a random number is uh, at the top of your program, you're going to write import random. And then when you want to choose your random number, write something like spin equals random dot rand int, uh, then open a bracket, 1, 36. And this will randomly choose a number between 1 and 36, a whole value number between 1 and 36, with each of them being equally likely. Okay, so here's my uh, quick demo of that. So I've already started the program running. Are you betting on odds, evens, or an individual pocket? So we're going to bet on odds. Ooh, odds, there we go. Um, how much do we want to bet? Let's say we bet £10. Um, the ball landed in pocket 18. 18 is not an odd number. It's an even number. So I lost the £10 that I bet. Okay. Now, a good way of working out if a number is odd or even is dividing by 2, um, and if you divide by 2 over and over and over again with remainder, you'll end up either getting a 0, i.e. the number was divisible by 2 and was even, or a 1. And the way you can do that in Python is something uh, like this. So if I said 61, and then I put a percent sign and then the number 2, um, it's going to divide with remainder by 2, and it'll output 1, because 61 divided by 2 with remainder eventually comes to 1, because 61 is an odd number. If I wrote something like uh, 74 percent 2, um, this should give me a 0 because 74 is divisible by 2 perfectly with no remainder. Okay, and this is called uh, modular arithmetic. Um, don't worry if you don't understand that, but percent 2 will divide over and over and over again by 2 and leave you with either a 0 or a 1, and you can use that to work out if something's even or odd. Okay, um, so that's task 1 done. So task 2. Um, not many people go to the casino to only play one spin on a roulette wheel. Um, that would be pretty boring and quite a quiet night. Um, so we'd actually like to know how much we can expect to make uh, if we place the same bet a hundred times. Okay, so we go to the casino one night, we decide we're going to keep placing the same bet over and over and over again on the same thing, uh, same pocket or odds or evens, um, and work out how much money we expect to win. So this time we're going to write the Python program uh, again, we get to choose what to bet uh, on, so what to bet from odds, evens, or an individual pocket, as well as how much to bet. Um, our program is then going to spin the wheel 100 times uh, and keep track of the number of times I win and the number of times I lose so that we can work out how much money I've made after 100 spins. Okay, So every single one of the 100 spins is going to be betting on the same thing and for the same amount. Okay. So that would simulate one evening of roulette, maybe. Um, uh, but this is all based on the fact that we were playing on a roulette wheel with numbers 1 to 36, that I said at the start. And I also said all the numbers are either 
colored red or the colored black and unfortunately that's not how casinos actually work casinos uh, use slightly different wheels because they actually want to win money uh, and by win money i mean they want the player to lose more often than they win um, so the european roulette wheels introduced a green zero on the board um, zero is an even number but it's not counted as an even number and obviously because it's colored green it's not it's not counted as red or as black uh, and to even push this further, the payout for winning on any of the bets we've already discussed doesn't change, even though there are now 37 numbers, 0 to 36. So even if you bet on a pocket, you still only get back uh, 35 times the amount you bet and your bet, rather than 36 times the amount you bet and your bet. Uh, American Roulette is even more unfair. They have a double 0, which is green, um, so then there are 30 eight numbers but they still only pay you out uh, well, uh, 36 times what you bet so the, the amount you bet and 35 more so what we want you to do for task number three is to change your python program to reflect this new zero pocket um, and then once you've done that simulate 100 spins on the wheel and compare your results to the roulette when uh, 100 spins of roulette without the zero pocket and you should see that you lose now more money uh, or you lose more often than you would have initially um, but casinos really don't care about one person playing 100 spins they care about lots and lots of people playing lots and lots of spins um, so what they care about is this sort of a million spins of a roulette table um, and if you place the same bet on the same thing and spin it a million times uh, using your program from before, you should be able to work out how much money you're likely to lose. Um, you are expected to lose money. That's how casinos make money. Um, so the structure of your program should be create a total variable. Ask the user what they want to bet on. So odds, evens, or an individual pocket. Ask the user how much they're betting per spin, say £10. Uh, and then inside like a for loop, you're going to repeat a million times uh, a spin the wheel uh, line of code, which chooses a random number between 0 and 36, um, a if condition which checks whether or not you win, so it'll be a divide by 2 percent thing like this for odd or even, um, or just a number comparison if you've chosen an individual pocket. If you've won, you're going to increase your total variable by the appropriate amount, so you get your bet back and the amount you won. Um, if you lose, you just decrease your total uh, the total money you have by the amount you bet. So if I had £100, I bet £10 and I lost, I'd now have £90. Um, and then at the very end of all your... So your for loop will run a million times. After your program has exited the for loop, you're going to want to print out your total. Uh, a final extension to this um, would be to create a list that stores your total variable at the end of each spin um, using something like the uh, dot append method. Uh, and then you could use this list to plot how your total changes over a, a million spins or a hundred spins or a thousand spins, um, which could be quite interesting um, to learn how to plot stuff. Uh, I'm not going to talk about it today, but there are lots of helpful tutorials online if you just want to Google it. Um, so hopefully this program is doable now that, I, now that I've explained it, uh, and hopefully you understand why casinos make money and maybe why, although they can be quite fun to go to, uh, don't go to them expecting to make any money. That's not a good idea.